Uh, ultimately, the, the big idea here is that money is technology that allows us to transfer economic energy through time and space. And we're seeing and living through a digital transformation of money. Everybody wants to move assets at the speed of light, friction-free, 24-7, 365. Micro strategies, Bitcoin strategy is just a way to invest in that. And the enthusiasm over Bitcoin is really billions of people on the planet that want to move their money faster and more frequently. And they're, they're, uh, they're uh, chafing at the restrictions of the 20th century analog finance economy. The most exciting thing going on right now in the in the digital monetary world is Lightning. Lightning is a layer two open protocol for moving Bitcoin transactions in a split second for a fraction of a penny. In essence, Lightning is money over IP. And if you think about the world uh, as it changed after TCP IP and moving data over IP and then voice over IP, uh, Lightning promises to allow millions of companies uh, to provide transactions in real time with billions of consumers. MicroStrategy is actually developing MicroStrategy Lightning, our own enterprise Lightning offering. And uh, we're going to allow uh, CMOs uh, to offer Lightning rewards or Bitcoin rewards, like a universal frequent flyer program to hundreds of thousands or millions of their customers, all of their employees, all of their prospects at the speed of light off of a website. And uh, so we're very enthusiastic about that. And you're betting there's demand for this. Yeah, you know, like right now, uh, companies spend billions of dollars on digital marketing. They give it to Google, they give it to Facebook, and they spend that money on ads in order to get people to come to their website. What if you could just give the billions of dollars in money directly to your customers and your prospects and you cut out the advertising? It might create a much less toxic, much more constructive environment. To do it, you need micro payments. You need to be able to move money at the speed of light, friction free. You can't do it with uh, 20th century credit cards. They're too expensive. They're too slow. They're too kludgy. There's too much friction. So what Bitcoin offers is micro transactions that can fundamentally change the way you market, change the way you build your products. And of course, you know, if you live in Africa or South America and it's Saturday afternoon, you know, the banking system is not working for you. Right. Bitcoin and Lightning is is a, a monetary system that works for the entire world and never gets turned off. Yeah. So, so what do you say when Charlie Munger from Berkshire Hathaway early this week publishes an op ed in the uh, Wall Street Journal and says, quote unquote, a cryptocurrency is not a currency, not a commodity, not a security. Instead, it's a gambling contract with a nearly 100 percent edge for the house entered into a country where gambling contracts are traditionally regulated only by states that complete, compete in laxity. And obviously the U.S. should now enact a new federal law that prevents this from happening. Well, his criticisms of crypto aren't totally off. There are 10,000 crypto tokens which are gambling, and I sympathize with them on that matter. But uh, Charlie and the other critics, they're members of the Western elite, and they're continually prodded for an opinion on Bitcoin, and they haven't had the time to study it. If, uh, if he was a business leader in South America or Africa or Asia, and he spent 100 hours studying the problem, he would be more bullish on Bitcoin than I am. Uh, Lebanon, Argentina, Sri Lanka, Nigeria, Venezuela, they all illustrate the plight of the common man, and there's no solution better than Bitcoin. So I, I, I really think that you know the Western elites, they haven't had the time to study it. But I've never really met someone with an incentive living in the rest of the world that spent some time to think about it that wasn't enthusiastic about Bitcoin.